New Fairy Garden. Well, hello my friends. I'm in my craft room today because it is Fairy Garden Thursday. And, of course, we are going to work on some fairy gardens. Time. Well, I made this one last time in the little globe ball glass. <laughs> And I started putting some mushroom paper in this one. And I never did finish it, so we'll finish this one up. These are the globes I'm using. Got to get this put away. My daughter's coming to town, and this is the guest room. <laughs> this is where they sleep. Okay, so I've got my little fairies out. Got this stuff that needs to be put away too. So you know what? I'm going to put it in the closet. How well you're thinking about it? I think it just goes right up there. Perfect. Anything else that needs to go away? No, I don't think so. Oh yes, this glue gun. We don't need this glue gun right now. I've got the big one. And here's another little fairy. Need the moss. Don't need those crayons or the brush. I mean, oh yes, the brush and the Mod Podge. Well, that brush is no good. Gonna have to give it a. Gonna have to give this a soak. Okay, let's find another brush. Oh, this stuff's all. Hard to oh, no, that's not good. Okay, found a brush. Yeah, this is my turntable for working. And we'll leave that on for a while. Okay, let's see. Okay, we can see this little dish. I'm gonna see if I can get this. I probably shouldn't have left this to be Mod Podged. This part's good. A little bit there, but I'll get that when I go over top. Let's get the rest of this in here. Podge podge out. Because the lid got left off. Oh, oh, there we go. Yeah, it'll be okay. Thought oh, maybe I ruined it. I'm not going to hurt it if it's a little bit runny. Okay, oops, <laughs> having lots of fun. Let's see if we can get this in here so that it looks tidy. I want it to look tidy on this side because that side is going to show. Now it's making noises. Okay, let's get some Mod Podge in here. We'll be doing good. Get that all pressed down in there. Need a little bit right there. Now this spot here, that's messy in here, but that doesn't really matter because I need some for here. This got kind of bunched up. Oh, here's some. We can use this right there. Some of this right here. Yeah, needs a piece. Right in here. Oops. I want that stuff in there. Okay, let's put some Mod Podge over top. Good. Cut some mushrooms out so they can show in here more. I think I will do that. So what I'm going to do is just cut a few of this. Just cut this little bit of napkin. I don't know if it's going to end up showing or not, but I'd like a little more. 
mushroom background. <clears throat> Let's just see if it works. Who knows? Who knows? There we go. A little bit of Mod Podge. Let's put this one here. Yeah, I like that. I'll put a little Mod Podge over it. Okay, so I've got some more of these little mushrooms. And I'm just going to put them in the background here. Oh, we can move these. They're not glued in yet. Put that one down there. And I have this one that has two mushrooms on it. And I'm just going to put it right in here. A few more mushrooms in the background. Maybe one right here would do. We'll, we'll need. Let's show up the best. And we'll just cut it out and decoupage it on there. And we'll see how that helps the background. Who knows? I may cover it all up. Except one or two. Who knows? Okay, let's put one there. There we go. They will be pretty. I'll grab a little bit of sandpaper. I don't know if this is dry enough, but. I will put stuff around the edge. Not sure what yet. Maybe some jute rope or something. So this is the back. And there's the inside. Okay, now let's start. Make sure the glue gun is hot. Let's get this stuff all put away properly. And the glue gun. I'm going to put this piece of log in here. There we go. And I had another piece of log. There it is. And I have a little higher piece of log that I'm going to put in here so I can set something else on it. Nope. Oop, oop, oop. Don't undo that. Thank you very much. <laughs> Oop. Get my paintbrush back and we'll smooth that back down so it sticks. Okay. Alrighty, got that smooth, stick that back in the glass. Okay, so try to, this one's not very straight. So I think what I'm gonna do I need some different moss. This one has dark green and light green in it. And this is Spanish moss and it's kind of brown, which is suitable for mushrooms. So I'm just going to put a little tiny bit of this in here so I can stick my log in here. Because if you see, it has, it's kind of slanted, so I need to build this side up so it'll sit in there straight. So we'll redo our glue and we'll stick some moss on it. Okay, now I'm gonna put some glue in here and I'm gonna stick this right in here and now it'll stand up straight. like that. kind of like this moss. But I have also have little pieces of driftwood, which I think are really cute. It's a wonderful subscriber gave me these. I thought they would be pretty neat to use in this arrangement. I'm not really sure how yet, but I'm going to play with it and see what I can do. And hope you enjoy watching it. Okay, we got you. So you can see. Yep. Now I can break it up if I want. 
But it might be fun to have one sticking out like that. I don't know. This one's pretty unique. It curls around. I kind of like that. And this one's kind of curly Q too. Or they can just go on the ground. Kind of like that. <laughs> what shall we do with all this wonderful? I like that. Yes, I like that. So I'm going to take these two out and put a little glue on them and stick them in here. Hopefully in the position I had them in. my gun's not in the way. Be nice if I could hook my camera up to a monitor so I could see what I was doing. Anybody know how to do that? Now I had this one because it was kind of curly too. Oh. No, I can't remember what I did. <laughs> I should look back. Yeah, I think that was it. Okay, let's put some glue here and some glue here. So you're seeing where I'm gluing. And we'll put these in here. There, I like that. Yes, I like that. And I'm just going to stick a wee bit of this stuff. Stick this in here. little bit more moss in here so you can see it better. There, I kind of like it messy and going out. Okay, so far I like that a lot. I think I'll put my little girl in. And my little fairy, she's a cutie pie. On a pretty blue dress and she's waving to her friends come and get some mushrooms now, now what little friend should we give her okay I found a cute little squirrel and I'm gonna set it on the log right beside her right up here and he's pretty cute now I don't know if these mushrooms are going to be too big or maybe the wrong color but I guess I could paint them we'll see let's just bring some mushrooms out here and see what we've got see what we like kind of like this color And we've got some pine cones and stuff in here that we could put on there. I like that. That's nice. That would interest our little squirrel. And here's some orange little mushrooms. I think these mushrooms are just too bright. Now this I think would be a nice size to stick in here. But so put the mushrooms on it. So I've just taken a popsicle stick, broke it into thirds, and I'm going to put some glue in here, slide that down in there, and that'll raise that up. And I have another little piece of stick I'm going to put on top. I want the mushrooms to definitely show. Okay. Now I'm going to put the little mushrooms right in there. So let's get some glue on them. I think these ones are the perfect size. And, oops, 
Oh, into the gun. Okay, the little mushrooms are in there. I think they're the perfect size. And yeah, I think I'll put some pine cones back in here, maybe. Yeah, look at there. Let's put it there. Oh, I need to dig out the glue gun, a glue stick. I saw this trick, somebody doing it. They put a little bit of glue on the end of the glue stick and they melt it down on the end. And then when you stick it in, it sticks to the other one. And usually you have to hold it for a while, but I shouldn't this time. Okay, so let's go back to the project. How are we doing? Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, we're going to put this. Oh, that pine cone got stuck in there. I'll put just a little bit more on there. Since I am selling it, I don't want it falling apart. The last one I did took up lots of moss. This one, I don't think I'm going to be using a whole bunch of moss, but we'll see. So we don't want to cover up all those nice mushrooms either. But I think we just need a bit more sticking out there. Kind of covering up those logs though. Maybe I'll put another one in there. So you can see it better. Yeah, I should put this one that way. I don't know. Maybe that way. Yeah, kind of like that. I just play until I and try stuff. I think if it looks good, then I just leave it. Ouch. Yep, got my finger. I always get my finger. I decided I'm going to put this around the edge. It's burlap. And it's called bric-a-brac. Bric-a-brac. And I think this will finish this off nice. Well, I think that finishes that nice. Okay, here are the two little fairy gardens. This is the one we did last week with the flowers and the squirrels, the butterfly on his nose, and the cookies. And this is the one we created today. And it's got mushrooms, and it also has a little squirrel sitting on a log. And it's got some driftwood in there and a pine cone and all the mushrooms. And she's just waving at her friends. And the napkin we used here is mushrooms. And I 
think they turned out rather sweet. And the can we use here? It's really pretty flowers. And if you want to watch that one, that was last Thursday's Fairy Garden Thursday. And this is this week's. Well, this is a collaboration. And it's hosted by Grandma Sandy. Thank you all for watching and all you have to do is put hashtag fairy garden and you will see all the creative people making fairy gardens. Thanks again for watching. My next video will be Sunday Home Reset and we'll get, be getting into some Christmas stuff. Okay, see you next time.